Hello, hello. I have arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, survivor. Or I can say I, I do not feel a champion. But we are surviving. We have been surviving and we will continue to survive. But the beast is yet unslain, the great foe of this event. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hello. Hello. I have arrived. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Ooh boy. <laughs> this event has been quite something, I must say. And yeah, I must say that. Ugh. But yes. So, we've been making attempts. Let's see, I think, did we... I don't remember if we started Wednesday or yesterday. No, it was definitely, yeah, it was Wednesday. We have made our first attempt against the final stage of Operation OD-8. Uh, we made our first attempt on Wednesday, and we have not made a successful attempt yet. And I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit intimidated by this boss. But we will endure. So yes. So, as with the last time I was thoroughly stumped on a timed event, I did end up looking up a guide. I found a few of them. Uh, the one I decided to go with was another one from YouTube user I Love Amia, who uh, is also the person that I got inspiration for the strategy I used to defeat Rathalos from. One of these days, I do still want to post my completed Rathalos clear or show it on stream or something. But anyway, so the strategy was originally a all three star strategy, which, you know, should work in theory. You know, everyone has the three stars. I have the three stars and it wouldn't be terribly difficult for me to get them all maxed out and all that. Um, and I did max out most of them, <clears throat> but I found that the strategy was very hard for me to follow. But yeah, mostly just due to some timing things. But yeah, one thing I'm very bad at in Arknights is timing abilities, and in a lot of cases, even remembering that I have abilities to use. So, to alleviate that somewhat, I made some adjustments to the lineup presented. And I will bring up the game here. I suppose there's no point in dillying or dallying. But I do suppose we do also have uh, something to say. So yes, tomorrow, maybe Arknights, if we continue uh, unable to defeat the Essence of Evolution. If we do beat it, then uh, yeah, hopefully that, hopefully we will beat it. <laughs> I'll put, I'll leave it at that. Hopefully we beat it. But yes. So, anyway, tomorrow, if the stream, if there is a stream tomorrow, it will be at 8:30 p.m. Central Time. If we do not, or if we, yeah, if we complete the event today, there will not be a stream tomorrow. Okay. So, now that we have said that, video games. So. As I said, the strategy originally was an all three star strategy using only three star operators. But yes, I swapped out uh, Gummy for uh, Spot. Spot was originally the healing defender used in the strategy. And Gummy also provides, you know, healing, but she provides it a little bit more consistently. But yeah, Spot only has his ability where he goes into a sort of healing mode. Gummy also has a skill where she goes into a healing mode, but I found it was hard for me to use that properly because if you misjudge the timing, then you get into a situation where, you know, if, if you use it at the wrong time, then you're not going to have it available the next time you need it, if you use it too, too late. And if you use it too early, you might run out of it before you stop needing it. So that was a big trouble for me. The strategy also originally used only eight units, and I added in Lancet 2 um, and Ash to uh, assist with that. 
Um, another change I made was I swapped out pine cone for uh, I swapped out pine cone for lava. I don't know that this was a positive, to be honest. I originally swapped out lava because um, she also has an activated ability that I didn't want to have to activate, basically, um, because it you know it's another sort of buff ability. A yeah, a time. A, you use it, and she has it active for a certain while. But yeah, Pinecone's ability, on the other hand, is a one-time use. The reason that I picked Pinecone is because I thought her skill just activated automatically, honestly. So Pinecone might not be what I'm looking for, really. But she is what I chose, and I did have some decent success with her. I had better success than I had with Lava. Ironically, the fact that... Uh, Despite the fact that she needs even more attention paid to her active ability, considering it, be, it can be used more often, the fact that it's not a buff and it's just a, you know, a instantaneous burst of damage, basically, helped a lot with, uh, you know, actually succeeding somewhat. But yeah, the biggest difficulty, however, has been in using the bombs. So we've gotten to the final phase of the boss before. And when you enter the final phase of the boss, it has a... It's invulnerable for 10 seconds. It doesn't take damage. Which is a problem, because the strategy relies on using some of the high-explosive Originium bombs, or the high-energy Originium bombs, rather, um, to deal the final bits of damage to the boss, because this is a strategy that is based around fighting the boss properly. Something that I had dismissed as something that I probably wasn't able to do earlier when yeah i was definitely too hasty to dismiss that but yeah anyway so since we need those two bombs to go off to get the final bits of damage on the boss we need to be very careful about when we use the bombs because if we use them too late then or if we use them too late then the boss will destroy them with its attacks if we use them too early then the boss will still be invulnerable and it won't die, at which point our defenses will get overrun. So, yeah. Ash is another choice that I had made. I had swapped her out, or I had swapped Adnachiel out for Ash, and I will post the, the video of the proper way to do this strategy in the description of this as well, once it gets up on the VOD channel. I'm way behind on VOD still, so... it but yes um but yeah i swapped out ash for adnachiel though she has a higher cost and is a bit scarier to use in some ex to a certain extent the fact that her ability comes up or like the fact that her ability just gives her a permanent and quite significant dps buff is like really helpful to me because i was also having trouble remembering about having to activate Adnachiel's uh, damage buff during the times when it was relevant. So with the team that I have, basically the only, like, timed buff that we have is that of Catapult and that of Ansel, also Melantha, I guess. But we usually don't have a whole lot at any given time, and the ones that we do have, we can use... Uh, Pretty, or rather, yeah. Onsoles we use reactively when it is necessary. Melanthas and catapults we just use on cooldown, basically. I don't think that there's any specific time that they need to be used. Melantha doesn't stick around for the whole mission, and catapults doesn't affect her damage. It only affects the AoE of her attacks, which is useful, but it's not that useful. But yes. Uh, I also added Kirin R. Yato because I'm uh, very easily frightened and I just felt like having another sort of a unit that I can put down to kill something quickly if I need to was kind of nice. I haven't gotten that much use out of her because she is kind of a, well, I was going to say because she is kind of a failsafe, but she's, yeah, she's a failsafe. It makes me feel a little bit, a little bit better to have her around. Yeah, another another note, another point of diversion is the fact that my cardigan is not uh, fully leveled and all that. I don't know that this 
matters too much, especially when compared or especially when paired with Ash. Because Ash has way, 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 way more DPS than Cardigan would, even if she was like fully promoted. Um, so the loss of DPS on Cardigan is no Im has no impact on us basically. The um, yeah loss of defense is negligible. The loss of health is negligible. Completely, completely can be ignored in both cases. Um, and yeah, she doesn't block anymore when she gets promoted, so she's perfectly fine as is. Um, and I worry a little bit that if I were to promote her, the DP cost would throw off the timing of other things throughout the mission. So, to that end, I am not using her, basically. So yes. I currently have a metronome going. We shouldn't be... It shouldn't be audible. I just have it on to... Um, yeah, I have it on in a browser window. It shouldn't be audible to you all. Um, I just have it on to hopefully, hopefully be able to track the beats it takes for the boss to become vulnerable. Even with it, I've had mixed results so far. So I'm not sure if the, the number that the wiki gave me of it being invulnerable for 10 seconds is off, or if my count is off or something, or if the period of invulnerability starts at a different time than I'm assuming that it does. Because again, there's no, as far as I can tell, there, there's not an obvious tell for when the boss is and isn't invulnerable. So basically, I just have to wait as long as I reasonably can before the bombs are destroyed. And if I'm off, then we just lose. <laughs> this is a very all or nothing strategy. There are other strategies that we could use in theory, but I definitely don't have the resources for those. And I don't know that I would be able to get those resources and those units leveled up in time to actually do this. So we're kind of, uh, we're kind of at our wits end, more or less. There are still probably some revisions I could do um, oh yeah, also Lancet 2 is here. <laughs> um, Lancet 2 is just for a little bit more healing. Because again, um, Gummy provides more consistent healing, but she doesn't provide periods of high healing with her current skill active. So there are times when it gets kind of scary if you don't have Lancet 2. But yes, um, yeah, I chose Lancet 2 because she is a robot and thus she doesn't care about the deployment limit. We could honestly probably use a medic of some variety to affect a similar result, maybe. I only say that because, or well, Lancet 2 is a medic, I suppose, but we could use a different medic, one who has a body of flesh and blood, um, because yeah, Lancet 2 does, no matter what, die in a single hit from the boss because she simply does not have enough health to withstand its attacks. And there's nothing we can do about that. We cannot improve her any further. Dog's a little bit upset. Dog cares a lot about Lancet 2's effectiveness. Um, but yeah. I don't actually know if I would have the deployment limit necessary to be able to do that. Because yeah, it is, it is, let's see. Actually, no, because we do have, we can deploy 10 units. And yeah, the original strategy used eight. So in theory, that does let us give us space to use Lancet 2 if necessary. Or a different medic if necessary. I might actually want to do that right away. <laughs> In fact, yeah, I'm going to switch Lancet off of Lancet 2. Um, and I'm going to switch to... Who do we want? Perfumer feels like the safe choice. But Telopsis is... Does have, like, side benefits beyond just being able to heal. She does also have the benefit of being able to improve our skill uptime. Granted, I don't know that that matters at this, like, once we get to the final parts of the mission, really. So, the extra healing might actually be just safer, so I think we're going to go with Perfumer. Plus, Perfumer's cheaper. 
Okay. So, with one last minute revision, we are now ready to begin. So, I'm going to take a little bit here to steady my nerves somewhat. This is rather tense, and I've had a lot of failed attempts due to me going a little bit too fast, missing a few simple things, just generally letting the nerves get to me. So we're going to breathe in. I already breathed in, so this is me breathing out, I suppose. In. Out. In. Out. Okay. So, the battle continues. The infiltration battle, if you will. Yes, we have seen this dialogue before. And pardon if I'm a little bit less talkative than perhaps I usually am. A lot of these things do require a fair amount of timing, like I mentioned, especially early on here. Understood. Because, yeah, if Melantha doesn't have that specific timing, it doesn't necessarily lose us the mission, but it's definitely not good. Understood. But, yeah, Cardigan does basically her, her goal of blocking things perfectly. Like, she doesn't even need to use her self-healing ability basically ever. But, yes, Ash does great. Yeah. Yummy does the same job that uh, Spot does, but she does it a little bit safer. Dog just wanted to get in, Everyone wanted to join us, me. I suppose. But yes, deploying crews on the right side is part of the strategy. It's a little bit scary. Yeah, again, we don't need to use the skill on Cardigan, but I like to do it to make my medic's job a little bit easier. You want to use that on cooldown, so as soon as it's available, we use it. It's very important that we place Onsol here specifically, and it's very important that we use Onsol specifically because he has the ability to increase his healing range. But yes, once this creature lets off its next burst, then we deploy Steward, facing right. Understood. Get clear. And now we place the bomb. But yeah, in the actual mission, the bomb gets placed slightly later. I don't think that actually benefits us in any way. I was trying very hard to adhere to that specific timing earlier in previous uh, off-screen attempts. I don't think it like actually helped, <laughs> is the issue. So yeah, it's only it was only later by like a few frames, but I got really hung up on it for a while. Yeah, basically, the, the, what I want to do with, uh, what I want to do with, uh, hmm, okay, now I, now I need to refresh my memory. When do I place Pinecone? But yes, anyway, so basically the, the timing of the bomb, I got really hung up on it, but I don't think it really matters because it's not like we're placing the bomb after... It's not like we're placing it after it has, uh, you know, we're waiting until after the boss attacks again, such that it would be avoiding a burst of damage or something. Um, so yes, Pinecone. Again, we would, in theory, be using Lava. Okay. So, okay, okay, okay. So, we use Pinecone on cooldown, basically. By which I mean to say, uh, as soon as she is available. But yes. Now, as soon as we can, we swap off, uh, Melantha. Because we want to be able to deploy Catapult soon. 
we detonate this at a relatively precise time to take out as many of the little fellas as possible. But yes, we use Ansel because his skill gives us a, uh, yeah, gives more range to his attacks. I'm tempted... Okay, we need to use the bomb on cooldown. I think... I don't know. I think I might be a little bit early on the bomb, actually. Because we might... That might be one more burst than I wanted. Um, anyway. So I'm going to use Perfumer a little bit early. Just because I'm scared. A lot of the... A lot of the choices I have made, as I said, basically just boil down to I'm afraid. But yeah. Okay. Part of what makes this scary is the fact that Cruz... Oh, I just realized this thing's in its final phase now. Um... Okay. We've lost Steward. And... Ah, the bomb. I set off the bomb too early. Um... So, I don't think this is winnable now. But... <laughs> when have we ever let that stop us from having... I was going to say a good time. I don't know that we're having a good time here, but we're having a time here. Ah, and I didn't set off the other bomb. Mm, okay, so we definitely lost. Yeah, okay. Well, it was a good run. But yeah, the other bomb didn't get set off, set off at all. If it did, we might have actually been able to clear the mission. But yes. Sip. So yeah, again, you can see from that just how incredibly, like, tight the line we are walking is. Like, just how we are on the razor's edge of life and death, and I was just, just a little bit too early on the first bomb, and then I was too late on the second bomb. But yeah, and being late on the second bomb meant that the bomb got destroyed, which meant that we lost the mission. Yes. I don't know if there's what other refinements I could potentially make. I think Steward also probably died when he shouldn't have there. Um, I don't know how necessary Steward is for this. But he definitely... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wasn't supposed to die there when he did. Understood. But yeah, I'm still kind of feeling out what the timings on a lot of these things need to be. Let's go. But yeah, we could probably use a somewhat more powerful unit than Cruz if such a thing existed. Um, just joking a little bit. Um, we could probably use a somewhat more powerful Everybody unit than Cruz to get a little bit more reliability on the right-hand side. Because, yeah, the part of the issue is that Cruz's trait, or talent, rather, uh, her targeting primary, gives her a chance to, like, crit, essentially, and do extra damage, but it's only, um, it's only a chance, you know? It doesn't happen on any given schedule. It doesn't happen regularly. It just happens when it happens, basically. Which is a bit of an issue for us, because it means that we... Or it's, it's scary, basically. It's frightening to me. Because I'm not ever 100% sure if it's going to, like, proc on any given enemy when we need it. It hasn't failed so far. But I don't know that that's because it can't, or or because it just won't. Yeah, I don't know if it, that's because it can't, or if it just we just haven't gotten unlucky in that way before. But yes, so we do definitely want to switch over to... We want to use Pinecone on cooldown. We want to use Pinecone on cooldown. We could probably get some better results if we were to swap Pinecone out. Let me see. Okay, let me do some quick math. 
So Melantha costs 13. You get half her cost back when you retreat her, I believe, unless there's something that says otherwise in her talents. No. But yeah, you get half of the unit's cost back, so I think that's 6 points. So once we get to 14, then we can get a uh, catapult back. Though, of course, we also could do it at, like, closer to 13. And still, like, have the time to get catapult out. Well, I guess, honestly, it doesn't matter too much, but, um... Okay. Okay, okay. So yes, we're in a pretty safe part of the mission now. Though actually, hmm. I think... Oh, hold on. I'm realizing I maybe messed things up slightly. Because the positioning on the... I should have used Onsol skill on cooldown also, I think. Um, yeah, not using the bomb earlier means that we have the second bomb be delayed. And the second bomb being delayed might have been part of what made it, like... Because, yeah, the bombs weren't, like... Well, I don't know. Um, they weren't, like, both ready at the same time as part of the issue. Alright, Cruz continues to not let us down, despite the fact that it looks like she might. Alright. Hmm, it does, it does look like the boss is taking damage now. So that's good. I will stay calm, thanks for letting me know. Um, okay, we, that's very bad, what just happened there. Um... Right, okay. Hmm. So now what, actually? Um... Hmm. Sorry. I'll fight harder next time. So what am I doing wrong on the bombs? Is it... Is it just that they're being... Well... Okay, it can't just be that they're being delayed too much, I don't think. That one did go off, I believe. I'm pretty sure that one went off and, like, did damage, I should say. The second one wasn't ready in time before it got destroyed. It might actually be that we're... I'm realizing now, it might actually be that we're doing too much damage to the boss and it's transitioning into its final phase too early. So Pinecone might actually be... I might actually be getting some detriment out of Pinecone here. Hmm. Because yes, um, that is a good, good consideration. I might want to not use Pinecone skill in that case, because we were doing okay even when I wasn't being very consistent about it. All right, all medicine has been prepared. So yeah, if it actually is an Invisible. issue with Pinecone, then it might actually be valuable for us to switch back to lava. Because we don't... Here's the thing. We definitely... We're in an odd sort of situation where we definitely don't want to progress the boss too much because we need to wait for the bombs to cool down or to uh, eat up, perhaps, um, before they, like, are able to go off. And we need... Again, I cannot overstate... I cannot overstate this. That we the need the bombs to go off, like, one after the other and both do damage. If literally anything else happens, we have lost. Yeah. I'm curious about the situation with Stewart, because I feel like something isn't going right there. I think probably the issue is just that I'm not using... I'm not using... Uh, I'm not using my cooldowns on cooldown, basically. I'm not... Um, I'm waiting too long to use Ansel's skill, so it's not ready. It doesn't come up again when we need it again. Hard to say. Hard to say. Ready to heal. Everyone, follow me. Of course, if the issue is that we're doing too much damage, then we might actually want to swap off of... Uh, steward or like we might not care as much about steward i think 
I'm starting to think some of these situations might have been the result of me just placing the bomb wrong. I think I might have just been putting it in the wrong place a few times. Because yeah, I definitely have had occasions where I have definitely demonstrably placed it too far right. Alright, right, pinecone. So this time, I'm going to make the effort to not use the skill at all. And we're going to see how that treats us. Yes, we're going to wait for the spiders to get into range. Then we're going to retreat Melantha. The actual strat retreats Melantha sooner and puts Catapult out sooner, which probably would have been beneficial to us there. But yes, I think, yeah, I'm, I waited too long. I waited too long. I need to use the bomb, then I can think about Perfumer. Do I? No. Don't, don't get chilly. I wonder if I, we can maybe uh... Again, if the problem is that we're doing too much damage, I wonder if we could maybe substitute Catapult for uh, Pinecone, so that we still have the D the AoE on one side, but we don't have to worry about it on the other one. Everyone, follow me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Okay, one way or the other, we should be within bombing range. There you are. We've let an enemy leap, which is a bit unfortunate. We've let two enemies leap. Okay, now we're at a point where we... Okay, okay, okay. So second bomb was not early enough. Second bomb was not early enough. So yeah, second bomb not being early enough meant, means that the first ahead. bomb wasn't early enough. Which again means that I'm not using my cooldowns on cooldown. A turn of phrase I have I have borrowed from a Final Fantasy XIV YouTuber by the name of Kaitsu Chai or Kaitsu uh what was it, Chaiji? Something like that. Sick. What is this thing Target's indeed? Detected. Position. It's nothing good, we can say that much. For a while I was sort of wondering what the, like, white cloth or whatever on it was, but I think that's probably the remains of uh, Dr. Levi's lab coat, if I had to guess. But yeah, that time was actually more successful, so I do think that part of the issue was just that we were doing too much damage with Pinecone. Pinecone's just too strong. Like, legitimately too strong. Um, not every day that uh, you think of, you see someone wielding a nail gun and think, no, no, you're, you're too powerful. We cannot allow you to continue as you are. Alright. Yummy. Honestly, if we're going to have Perfumer here, Gummy might be redundant. I wouldn't go so far as to say I have an idea of what to use in place of Gummy, but we might not need to use Gummy specifically. I used, uh, Cruise Too Late. Hmm, alright, so now our setup's all kind of weird. Um, is this? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, our setup is super weird. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, but we've salvaged the situation, because now we can just wait for that to go off, and we will still have Steward at the proper timing. Require a little bit less healing on... Ah, but now we're a little bit late on the bomb. Though, it doesn't matter that much, because we're definitely going to have the second bomb on cooldown by the time the first bomb has detonated. We're going to be a little bit... We're going to be in a bit of a weird situation. Hmm. What have I... Oh, Pinecone, Pinecone. I was going to say, it, the 
The DP numbers look weird to me, but yeah, Pinecone. Anyway. So. I think it's better to... Oh, hold on. I think Lava or Splashcaster might be better than Steward. Maybe. Maybe. We really... Steward's not provided us with spectacular results. So it is... It's definitely very possible that someone would be better than him. We've done okay with Steward. The problem is, again, like when we get into the part where we have to use the bomb again. And, oh dear. Okay, so, the bomb detonated at the wrong time, which will throw off our estimates somewhat. Um, Awaiting your orders. Oh yes, also, thanks for dropping by, PvPG. Okay. Because, <clears throat> yeah. We're, at a, we're in a situation where it's very important Everyone, that we not me. use, we not do too much damage to the boss too quickly. Because if we do too much damage, like, we will, it will get into its final phase before we're ready for it, and then we will simply lose. But yes, despite what Cardigan says, there is some hesitation. We do need to hesitate a little bit. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Watch how I get them with one shot. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. It is the uh hmm. Please, please, good play. Okay. Ah. Oh. Unfortunate. Is the doctor okay? So, like I said, I have figured it out. <laughs> it's the ring. It's the yellow the yellow ring that circles around it. That I had noticed that before, but I didn't realize what that had what that corresponded to. Because, yeah, the wiki says that, you know, the creature is it's invincible for ten seconds when it goes into its final phase. But as far as I saw and I might have just misread, it didn't say that it was invincible during any of its other phase transitions. So I saw that ring during other phase transitions, and I assumed it didn't necessarily have anything to do with the invincibility. But there, I specifically waited for the ring to go away, because I thought I had an inkling there. And after it went away, the bomb did go off, or the bomb did do damage. Again, the issue isn't that the, isn't that the bombs don't go off, it's that they aren't doing damage when we want them to. But yeah, I do always appreciate your your input, TVPG. But yeah, I do think that Steward is at least somewhat necessary, if for no other reason than because he, um, yeah, if for no other reason than because he is able to, uh, like, he doesn't cost very much. <clears throat> so a big part of this is that we need to make sure that we have the right amount of DP at the right points to, de to deploy the right things at the right times. We got very close there. Yeah, that animation is for designating iframes across all enemies. Oh, okay. I was not aware of that. All right, I'm very glad for the confirmation. Thank you very much. Because, yeah, I don't believe I've ever seen that on any enemy before, or at least I've, if, I, if we have seen it, I've not been paying attention. But yes. So, Let's show them what we can do. I think if there is a refinement to be made, it's that we might be able to swap out crews for a unit that has either a slightly or like a slightly more consistent DPS. Understood. Because again, a big part of crews being able to kill the enemies at the right time is her being able to use targeting primary or like getting the damage bonus from targeting primary, which is like not consistent it's random it's literally random um whoops Understood. but yeah so it just straight up doesn't work sometimes um when we need it to but yeah Let's go. again i've never had it fail outright 
but I do feel like it could probably, we could probably be served well by switching to something a little bit more consistent. Even if that means we have to wait one or two more DP generation moments to get her on the field. I also had some reasonable success with uh, Ash on the right, but obviously we only have one Ash, so there's only so much we can do um, on the on that front. Yeah, another thing that we could potentially do is if we want to supplement our DPS and also give ourselves a little bit more healing, is we could also deploy, in place of Perfumer, we could deploy uh, Hibiscus the Purifier. Understood. Because yeah, even if we were one or two DP... Yeah, even if we had to spend one or two more DP, we'd still have enough uh, to get this bomb on the field when we need it, I think. So a... Again, I don't like to solve problems with just use better units, but... I don't like my strategy to be just use better units, but the situation with Cruz might genuinely be an example of when we would maybe want to do that. Alright, we're not going to worry too much. We're going to deploy Catapult. Maybe a little bit early, but should be fine. Okay. Ah, we did have an enemy leak. I think... Yeah, I think I should have used Pinecone's ability at least once there to help clear with enemy, clear out enemies somewhat. That or... That or actually, it might have just been that Catapult was... Uh, Catapult was like targeting something when she shouldn't have been and wasn't able to clear some of the enemies towards the middle. I won't be afraid. Alright, so yeah, again, we now have had a situation where... Oh dear, we've had a situation where I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Um... Alright, I do think we've lost, because we definitely, definitely didn't get the second bomb planted in time. Ah, okay, so it's not convincing anymore, but that doesn't matter because we've already lost. Okay. I'm sorry I failed you, Instructor Doberman. Hmm. Let's see. So, four other sniper options. We have a plethora. Because the you know, all jokes aside. Um, all jokes aside. And I do like Cruz as a character, but all jokes aside, there's not... It's not as though there's a shortage of units who are stronger than Cruz. Um, hmm. So what would we want to do? So Jessica... Well, part of it... Okay. Yeah, a lot of... I'm looking at my other marksman snipers, and I'm looking at their numbers, and I'm thinking, those are lower than Cruz. But that's because they mostly... Uh, yeah, that is because they have, uh, they, like, Cruz is legitimately my highest level marksman sniper other than at Nakiel. So, the issue is, who do we use? Yeah, Cruz has better DPM than equally level 4 star marksman snipers. Hmm. I don't, I don't disbelieve you. I do think that's probably true. Like, Cruz, Cruz does damage. Like, she does good damage. The issue that we're facing because of her talent... Exactly. That's the, the point that I'm trying to make, though. Is that her talent is not... Like, it's good... Like, mathematically, it's very good. But the problem is... We're not... Sometimes it doesn't proc when we need it to, and we get enemies leaking. But yeah. Like... Cruz is good. Like, she does good damage. But the problem is, um... Yeah, Cruz does good damage. 
But the problem is that she's not doing... She's not always doing the damage when we need her to do the damage. And granted, we could always just, like, wait for... Well, I don't know. We've only ever had, like, one or two enemies leak in any given mission because of crews. So it could... it could We could keep using for her for a little bit. There is a part of me that wants to try out, say, Exusiae or Jessica. So I'd have to level them up a little bit to get them a little bit uh, higher. Because, yeah, again, we just want to make sure that when the when the enemies are, like, that they are dying, like, when we need them to. We don't need to do a lot of damage per minute. We need to do, you know, we need to consistently kill the excrescences and the tumors in, like, you know, as few shots as possible. But yeah, and if we're not consistently getting them, like, that quickly, then we do have a little bit of an issue. Yeah, I choose Jessica and Exusii, or I think of Jessica and Exusii, both because I, you know, just think of them in general, but also because of the fact that they, uh, they both have a talent that increases their uh, attack speed, which could be useful. Blue Poison is another, another good thought in my mind, because she is able to attack multiple enemies at once. That's not necessarily always necessary. But it's never going to go wrong, I don't think. But yes. Yeah, again, if we were facing, like, a single target and we needed to, like, damage, like, do consistent damage to a single target, then, statistically speaking, her talent would be very good, especially when compared with her, or when combined with her, like, skill. But I don't think it's really what we need right now, because we're not getting... Yeah, the enemies are just not... Um... They're not always getting killed when we want them to be. But yes. Thinking about... Thinking about Steward, I do think that we might be... As you said... We could very well actually benefit from having a someone else. Yeah, maybe a splash caster. Um, someone else in his place. Because, again, part of the issue is that we are letting... Like, enemies are leaking on the... Uh, enemies are leaking sometimes on the left-hand side. And I haven't quite nailed down why. Again, I'm reluctant to use a more expensive unit than Steward, because that might throw off our resources a little bit. Hmm. Because, yeah, again, part of the issue is that we don't want to do too much damage too fast. Part of the issue is that we don't want to do too much damage too fast, because we've, like, from what I can tell, like, one or two uses of pinecone skill can legitimately be the difference between whether or not we <laughs> whether or not the the boss transitions to its final phase before we set up both bombs and if it transitions too early then we just lose yeah if we if we cannot explode it like immediately we just lose so yeah so in okay yeah again we want to be able to take enemies like weak small weak enemies out fast with with crews or whoever we replace with crews or crews with rather we want to be able to take out small weak enemies very fast and for steward i'm not honestly i'm not 100 percent sure what steward does to contribute to this mission other than a little bit of damage but considering that we've legitimately run into the issue of having too much damage we might honestly just not want to use steward like he might he might be actively detrimental to us right now it's a bit of a funny thought but i 
I do think that that could legitimately be the case. But yeah, Stewart also focused at the boss because of his talent and not the slugs. That is true. That is true. I hadn't really thought about that. So yeah. So Stewart was probably put into this into this strategy. I think I, I mentioned it before, but I don't know if you were around then. Um, I did get this strategy off of a guide, um, off of a video guide. I guess it was less of a guide and more of a showcase because it didn't really describe what they did. It just, you know, showed it. Um, semantics, though. Anyway, so I guess with the purely three star setup that they were using, Steward was probably necessary for the DPS that he provided. But with the with uh, Pinecone, he is probably a bit of a liability because yeah again we're just we are legitimately killing things too quickly we are killing things too quickly so we might just want to not use steward so honestly i don't i don't think that we can like okay well Okay, Operation Don't Use Steward does have the slight downside of... He does do some damage to the slugs during, when the boss is in its invincible phases. Or during when it's invincible and can't be targeted, because they don't seem to attack it when it's invincible. Um, but I guess I could just as easily switch, switch his direction or switch him around to someone else. Honestly, I could maybe even just, like, deploy another ground unit like near cardigan such that cardigan can block and they can still like attack though we we'd need to use a, a lord of some sort um honestly since we're already at a point where i'm like not super concerned about like yeah since we're already just kind of using whatever units and i've discarded all uh you know all pretense of trying to stick with units that are like you know I'm not looking for a challenge anymore. Like, I'm not deliberately using my, like, weaker units that I could be using for the sake of a challenge. And because I'm not trying to stick too hard to a thematic team, I think I have a good idea for a lord who would be very good to deploy in this specific instance. And that is... I guess I'm not too worried about spoilers either right now, but anyway. That is Lapland. I don't know if we've used Lapland before, but uh, anyway, she has a silence on just like her attacks, just straight up silence, and it's it's just good. That's good. That's great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, her attacks silence, so that means that we can potentially stop some enemies from splitting, which will save us a lot of trouble on the uh, left hand side. But yeah, beyond that though, I don't know if I have anything in particular to say about her. She's fine. Uh, she does what we need her to do. Um, both of her skills don't require any input from me, so I won't get distracted by having to keep them up. So I'm happy about that. I don't know if I... I don't know if Wolf Spirit or Sundial would be more effective, though I suppose the fact that, like, the enemies that we're fighting do so little damage makes Sundial kind of, like, not... The damage resistance is not relevant, basically. The slugs don't do enough damage to for us to care um yeah yeah the slugs don't do enough damage for us to care wolf spirit allows us to kill them slightly faster though it only ha is only effective during you know while it's off cooldown or while it's active um but again we haven't really had an issue of the slugs being too uh or, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They haven't been too much of a problem on the left-hand side. It's an occasional problem, but not a massive problem. So yeah, honestly... Honestly, um... Honestly, it might not matter. <laughs> it might it might just straight up not matter what skill I use on Lapland. I haven't used Wolf Spirit before, so let's just Make use Texas Wolf Spirit. I'm not making Texas the leader, I'm sorry. Okay, oh, one more skip. Belt. Perhaps one Where's more of many, but um.
at least we're better off than we were. Spoiler screen. Oh, pardon. Thank you again. But yeah, at least we're better off than we were uh, <laughs> during the Monster Hunter event when I had to like stay up past midnight, like on my own time to beat the event. But yeah, that was a that was a rough day for me, and I was and I felt very bad physically afterwards. Um, so I'm glad I'm not doing that now. I'm glad we have like a whole nother day for me to uh, work on this. Everyone, follow me. I'm ready to fight. It occurs to me that we didn't actually switch out crews like I was planning to, but uh, it is what it is, I suppose. I suppose if we, given that how we've rearranged our squad a little bit, we might not need Onsol specifically, though granted, Onsol is still good because of his ability to heal multiple units at once, so probably we shouldn't switch off of him willy-nilly. Um, so yeah, I think we'll use Lapland more or less as we were using Steward. Yes, um, right. I was, like, a few frames late on that bomb, but it's probably not a big deal. Wait, was I supposed to... Wait, no. Yeah, that's when the bomb goes. Yes, yes. And now is when I deploy, uh, Pinecone, as soon as she's available. I think. Yes, we can retreat Melantha soon. Everyone, follow me. Probably could have retreated her a little bit earlier there. But we're doing fine. Oh, we're not doing... Oh, yes. Okay, we did fine. We did fine. Everything's okay. Yes, use cooldowns on cooldown. Don't get... Reckless. Okay. We might not need Perfumer desperately. Granted, I don't want to wait until we definitely need Perfumer. Like, because if we wait as long as possible, we'll probably not... Like, it'll probably not turn out quite as well. Okay, yeah, we're about to take more damage. I won't be afraid. Everyone, follow me. Hmm. We might actually be a little bit behind on DPS now. In which case, I guess we can start using Pinecone's ability. Okay, if it explodes again, that's very bad for us, so I guess we should just... No, that... Yeah, that didn't... That was not good. Um, so yeah, we messed up. Bad. Um... <laughs> yeah, we are in a bad way. Hmm. But, Pinecone is pretty strong. She's not that strong, though. Okay. Hmm. So, with the new strategy, we don't have enough DPS. So we are riding... We are, once again, very much on the razor's edge of survival. Because, yeah, there we waited too long and the bombs got into a point where, like, we needed to, uh... We needed to set them off before they were destroyed. Tip. And because of that, we weren't actually able to get, um, the damage out of them that we wanted. So. Where... We could also place Lapland to the north of, uh... Yeah, to the north of whoever. Uh, Fang, that's her name. 
That way she'd be able to do some damage to the boss, but somewhat less damage to the boss. Because yeah, we are just like, just, just barely, like, in the right. Though I guess, again, part of the issue, like, we're not using, we weren't using Pinecone's cooldowns on cooldown, so that could have been part of it too. Whereas before I avoided doing so because it was too much damage, this time I didn't have enough damage. So the strategy might just be use Pinecone's ability as though it as though you care about it. Man. I guess I wasn't I was, you know, on the prep screen for part of it, but it's hard to believe I've it's been an hour already. Time sure does fly. Yeah, Cardigan is a brick wall. There's nothing more to be said about her and her role than that. She survives perfectly fine, and she doesn't need to do any damage to anything. So she's completely 100% acceptable. Yes. Yummy has been doing fine. I'm a little bit torn. Oh, I, I, oh dear, I waited too long to use Cruise, that's bad. Um, because yeah, unless we get lucky with a stun, oh no, never mind. I was going to say, unless we get lucky with a stun, we're off uh, rhythm, but we got the enemies cleared without any issue, so we're fine. Everything is fine. Okay. No, we were going to do it the other way, weren't we, right? Um, this might be bad, actually. This might kill Lapland. Um, we were a little bit off on that bomb, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Ah, oh, I forgot. We're supposed to deploy Pinecone first. Oh well. Okay, okay. Well, this might be... Let's be optimistic and assume that this is the breakthrough that we needed. <clears throat> Alright. Yes, we're doing just fine on healing on the bottom, though. So honestly, Perfumer... I might have been a little bit too worried about something that I really didn't need to worry about with Perfumer. Um, so yeah, the first bomb is going to take some damage, but that's perfectly normal and acceptable. It is within reasonable margins. I'm worried that our units on the on the right hand side aren't going to survive properly. Watch how I get them with one shot. All right, we're doing okay. Ah, Lapland put down, which was a little bit unexpected. Um, video does use Melantha. I think we. It waits a little bit on the lamp, so I think I was a little bit off there, but... Hmm. Yeah, again, that time... Yeah, we just... Yeah, okay. I don't think Lapland is the strategy, because we're not... Um, we're not doing damage to the boss I'm fast sorry, enough. I failed you, Instructor Doberman. Okay. Alright, Lapland can go back in her box until we have need of her later. Well, I don't need to be putting up the spoiler screen every time. I've been pretty good about making my... Yeah, making my uh, units not be spoilers. What can I do for you? 
Okay. Anyway, Stuart. So, we had some success with using Stuart and Pinecone with not using Pinecone's skill ever. Not using Pinecone's skill ever Let's makes things a little bit do. scary because it allows it doesn't allow us to. Prepare for battle. It makes it so we can't get the can't get the like enemy clears like quite as fast when we like if we want them immediately. Understood. But yeah, so don't use Pinecone's cooldown if you can help it, I guess. Um Beyond that, Understood. yeah, things were going just fine, perfectly okay. I'm getting increasingly, I'm, yeah, I'm growing increasingly convinced that we should maybe switch over to, um, I'm growing increasingly convinced that we should switch over to, instead of uh, Perfumer using, say, uh, Hibiscus the Purifier, who doesn't heal as much. But the extra DPS on the right-hand side will make things less frightening. But also, probably part of the issue is just that I need to, like, trust myself more and, like, trust that things will go okay, basically. Um, Alright, we have succeeded there. Okay. The Lantha skill didn't go up when it perhaps could have, but that's okay. Because the duration is going to last the whole time, and it's going to be okay. Yeah, I think I, part, in part, I just need to trust that the, uh, like, things are going to, like, work. Because we've never really had the, um, well, we, it's not never, we have had it happen, but it's very uncommon that, um, Cruz's, uh, skill just, like, doesn't work, basically. Let me... I need to, like, double-check. Do I use... I don't use Catapult right away, I don't think. I keep, like, wanting to use Catapult right away, but I don't think that's correct. Granted, I'm probably too worried about this, again, just on the... because of anxiety, but also, um... Like, anxiety is not beneficial to me. But also because, um... We're just not doing things in the same order, like we're not using the same units, so adhering too strictly to the video is probably detrimental to me more than anything. That being said, I'm going to now adhere to the video and use our AoE unit when they use it in the video. Alright. Yeah, I think Pinecone Catapult placement order is probably swappable. It could be. It could very well be. Um, Awaiting your order. The medication is we do here. want to use Onsol's skill earlier, if possible. Because, yeah, that means it's going to be available sooner. Again, I waited too long to redeploy a bomb. That's probably going to hurt us a lot. Because, yeah, I, one thing that I'm not taking into account is that I do need to, like, I want the bombs out, like, early. Like, as early as I can possibly get away with. Um, so this is a battle. Because, yeah, we're probably not going to be great. Okay, we did get it to switch over What's to phase up? transition before it was able to explode again, so that's nice. I think, what if we... Hmm. So we've only got... Actually, unless... Unless... Uh... Unless Stewart does die at some point, or otherwise gets retreated or something... I'm trying to realize, because I... We only have... Okay. We're at the unit limit. But... Oh, wait, no. No, that doesn't make sense. I'm trying to think, because we're... Hmm. Because the video used eight units total. And we're at the unit limit, but I only have one more deployed than they do, I think. Unless I've 
Unless I've just completely... Did the bombs take up unit? Like, the planet unit? No, surely not. Maybe they do, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I guess we'll see. Um, someone just died. No? Okay. Okay, actually, bomb one is ready to blow. Um, wait, hold on. No, right, someone died. Um, Stuart died, actually. Um, well, uh, let's... This isn't going to help, but... <laughs> It'll make me feel a little bit better, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry I failed you, Instructor Doberman. Because, yeah. At, around that time, we should have been able to place Melantha somewhere else. Actually, oh no, right. So, well, no, because, hold on. Because, yeah, at that point in the video, like, right before the boss dies... They have, yeah, Steward. They've got the four on the left that we had, and they've got three on the right. For a total of seven out. Can I? Hold on. Is, or no, we have five on the right, and set, or, wait, hold on. Okay. Onsol, yeah, Onsol, Cardigan, Fang, um, Ash, uh, in our case, Pinecone. And Ansel. Did I say Ansel? I think I said Ansel twice. Steward, I meant to say. Um, so yeah, so that is... That's six, actually. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, no, wait. No, right, okay. They brought ten units into the mission. Okay, okay. So that's why my some of my numbers are off. Okay. Anyway. So yeah. So some amount of additional healing on the right-hand side, I think, is necessary. Yeah, I think that's necessary, but it will become... It will cease to be necessary after the boss is dead. So we once the boss is dead, we can retreat for Fumer without issue and continue on normally. Once the boss is dead, I don't think most of the requirements for the like clearing the mission are too strict because we're going to have a lot less to deal with, and I can probably All right. figure All it out from there. Being prepared. In position. But yes, we're definitely getting very close. We're like... Honestly, like, I think it could happen tonight. Well, not if I do that. <laughs> Alright, we're starting over. Granted, the situation is... Like, the failure states that we get into are catastrophic enough that, like, one, like, in basically any other situation, if we let one unit pass us by, it's not just going to be one unit passing us by. So, restarting because of a single leak right at the beginning is probably not that big of a deal. But, you know, I don't want to chance that, you know? Yeah, I don't want to get all the way to the end of the mission and suddenly lose because, whoops, you, uh, leaked exactly two units. And because of the one that you leaked earlier, you have lost. are pretty okay. Nothing is going amazingly, but nothing is going awfully. I almost wonder if maybe... well, no. Cardigan, I think, is valuable due to the... in large part to the fact that she just isn't very expensive to heal. So yeah, so I don't think that there's anything I could really do to... Um, Swap her out for anyone that would give us more value per DP. Alright, we have let an enemy be there. Yeah, again, that's what I'm sort of getting at when I'm talking about how Cruz is just slightly inconsistent. Yeah, 
again, I do agree with you that Cruz is, like, good generally. But, like, in... She does have the potential to choke. And, like, we are not in a situation where I, like, feel okay with sometimes not getting, like, not getting a good result just because of, you know, just because we didn't get lucky. Um, part of me thinks that we should deploy Catapult sooner so that we can get rid of, like, crowds of enemies sooner. But, again, it's probably not that precise, the timing. Okay. Now, immediately, immediately, immediately set up another bomb. Do not, do not, like, pause for a moment. Do not hesitate. I cannot, I cannot potentially at all justify that. Ooh. Okay. Needed to take a moment there to uh, to collect myself a little bit. My uh, blue light filter just turned on, which kind of threw me for a loop. As the screen suddenly started changing color. I wasn't, you know, I was expecting it to do so. But it did it did throw, throw me off a little bit, so I got kind of scared. <laughs> to be totally honest with you. Um... So yeah, I know I said earlier that one, we're not in a situation where like we can like uh, justify even a single leak. But now that we're like into the mission, oh dear, actually that the uh, the bomb has taken damage twice. That's bad, actually. <laughs> so I think we I think we were a little bit early there. Hmm. Okay, fine cone. Thank you. Um, so the first bomb is probably going to be destroyed, I think. Because, yeah, I think that the boss can still explode, yeah, while... Yeah, it can still explode while the... while it's invulnerable. So we have lost again. Yeah, I don't think we can reasonably hope to do enough damage to it to take it out before it takes us out. Understood. But we can always try. Well, I say we can always try, but we've uh, just lost. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that time... Yeah, that time a bomb went out too soon. Which is not something that I had expected. Um, all right, I'm going to take a, a brief moment. Uh, yeah, I will be right back. All right, I'm back, and I realize now that I like know what it looks like when the boss is invincible and not invincible. I guess I can turn off the metronome, so that's at least that's one fewer thing taking up. Uh, one fewer thing in my brain. Okay. So. There we had the issue that a bomb had taken too many hits. So I guess it was deployed a little bit too early. But I don't know. Yeah, I guess the exact timing of when the boss uses its abilities varies a little bit depending on, you know, how quickly we get from one phase to the other and all that. Oh man. Where did I leave my ammunition so yeah, so it's not random, but there are so many factors that are so outside of our control that it feels a little bit random. Anyway, speaking of randomness, um, I did give it some more thought, and I do think that we're going to keep Cruz around for the fact that she does provide... You know, as, as we've established, she does do Everyone, good damage. Like, she's not bad at damage. I, will protect us all. I think we can live with one or two enemies leaking sometimes. Like, as long as we get the mission done, basically. Like, I will I will settle for whatever, whatever comes our way. 
we already have some randomness in the form of Gummy and how her son sometimes does or doesn't work. Um, I guess the I guess the like direction that I'm placing my defenders in doesn't really matter. Um, what does matter is that I did place uh, crews a little bit later than I would like. So that is going to... Oh no, actually. Okay, that's fine. It turned out just perfectly okay. And we could play Onslaught. And we won't need as much healing if we use her ability. And as soon as the boss is done exploding, we can deploy uh, Steward. In theory. Is it going to explode? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. They do have a little bit of iframes as you're deploying them. I do believe. That or it might just, it might just not be active as soon as I'm thinking it is. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we could do to make Gummy's healing a little bit more consistent, because that's part of our issue here. Yeah, I might also want to play around with the exact order that we put Pinecone versus, um, Pinecone versus Catapult on the field. Spiders, please. Thank you. Yes, use Onsol's skill sooner rather than later. Hmm. Now I'm curious, because we did get both of the bombs out in good time last time, but one of them did get destroyed. So I wonder if I did, if I placed it too soon. Actually, how long do these things take to charge up? Now that I think about it, doesn't say offhand. Um, actually, does it? No. Yeah, I'm not seeing an SP number. Hmm. Yeah, 25 seconds. Okay. Yeah. So they will. The boss will get in a few explosions before it's done. Which is bad, but... Mm, okay, we need to get our unit healed soon. Okay. This time, things seem to have gone perfectly fine. And while the boss is invincible, we can use uh, Einkone's skill with impunity. Okay. There we go. Okay. Very clean. Very clean. Now, very clean is maybe an overstatement, but we did win, I think, so I'm not going to complain. Okay. So yeah, we do have a lot more damage in the form of Ash than the guide Everyone, did. So we might not need to be, like, a lot of units did get moved around a good amount during the guide. We also have more damage from Pinecone. But yeah, we might not need to worry about that so much in this go through. So we're, ooh, okay, that's more enemies than I was expecting. Um, but they're dead, so we're cool. Hmm. It would be very sad if we were to lose, like, now. Um, but I don't think that we will. I think we're going to be okay. And I'm going to wait to use Pinecone skill again until there's a lot of enemies. You're good? Okay. I appreciate the confidence. 
And, you know, I don't think it's unearned. We're definitely doing very good. But, um, yeah, okay. I think most of our units can be retrieved at this point. Not that it matters too much. Yeah, we might need to deploy, um... Oh. Oh. <laughs> um... Okay, okay, okay. What's up? Yeah, there is a there is a small problem here. So that's our target. Is that all you got? Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, we were so close to a perfect clear there. But I do not care. <laughs> uh, a victory is a victory. A victory is a victory. <sighs> okay. But yeah, that was very easily fixable. We could very well have uh, worked around that. And I might see if we can make that work tomorrow. <laughs> I might not take my break immediately. Because yeah, now that the pressure is gone, things are better. <laughs> Ooh boy. Probably I'll do that off camera just to put a little even less pressure on myself. But yes. One sip to our success. Sip. <sighs> I am so happy that that worked. <clears throat> okay. Huge spherical creatures crumble and disintegrate into scattered, writhing masses of living organisms that refuse to die. Still moving. Bomb deployed. Time to go. It... it looks like it's budding? What on earth is it? Whatever it is, it doesn't belong in this world. We have to evacuate. We need to get out before the bomb goes off. This way. I'm out of ammo. Rangers? I'm still here. You don't look so good. I'm old. So old. <sighs> what happened to your hand? I couldn't dodge. That's all. What do we do now? Should we go to the shelter? No news from the mine? None. Ha ha ha. I never thought we'd hold out this long, but we're almost to the end of the road. What are you doing? Making a shield. I always wanted to try, actually. Ha ha ha. What a trip down memory lane. Back to the glorious good old days. The young rangers all gathered at the edge of the town, knowing the overwhelming odds stacked against them, knowing that most would spill their blood in the wasteland after the war. But they laughed and sang war songs as if they were facing down bugs to be easily squashed. War is cruel and merciless. Some backed down, many more held the line. The fallen became legends. The survivors were tasked with remembering them. And the last one standing in that bloodbath after all that time, started to feel the fear of death set in. Because he doesn't want the dead to be forgotten? <laughs> Maybe that's why. It's been an honor to fight alongside you, Alexander. The honor is mine, Rangers. But don't be so gloomy. I haven't given up the fight. I'll smash a few to death. Wait. What's that? Arrow. Arrows fall like rain on the ground in front of a manor, piercing origin mutant skulls and throats with, per with precision. The black downpour continues uninterrupted like a storm sweeping across the land. The cavalry's here. 
We're saved. This technique must be that young person. I picked up a Rose Island distress signal and figured it was a normal rescue mission. Didn't think I'd run into you. Old Ranger? You're back in business, huh? <laughs> At my age, you're making fun. What about your sword, Ranger? I'm too old. I haven't been able to swing it for years. If it weren't for you, today would be the end of these old bones. You sell yourself short, old ranger. Listen up, squad. The objective is the Lord's Manor. The enemy is an extremely dangerous form of Originium organism. Keep your location updated. Be careful. There's many of them. Try not to let your folks fight alone. Also, be mindful of the ground. They're good at drilling. Understood. It's an honor to fight beside you, Scimitar of the Bloody Valley. Uh, that, that line from, uh, from Pinecone really does encapsulate the feeling, huh? But yes, a very, a singular, very small problem kept us from a perfect rating. But... But I am tired. <laughs> I could continue. I could continue and do this cutscene. In fact, I will. I was going to say I, I'm going to save that for next time, but I think... Yeah. I think I will plan on not streaming Saturday. I will just uh, do my best, my level best, to clear this mission properly with a three-star rating. Because it was definitely very achievable. Like, no joke, we could have done it. But yeah, the issue just was, I think probably I was focused on the left-hand side when I really shouldn't have been. You know, we just didn't have as many blockers on the right-hand side. Um, so yeah, so I probably probably should have been more mindful of when I used, uh, yeah, when I used, uh, Yato. But yeah. Other than that, though, that went pretty good. So, can't complain. We will wrap up the story today. <sighs> and I will have my rest. This has been quite the journey, and I am delighted to have completed it. Half a month later. Thank you for all you've done, Cohen, Kotz, Tina, Alexander. On our behalf, on behalf of the town of Long Spring. Sorry, I'm not so good with this kind of formal language. Thanks to you, I survived the conflict with my brother, and my people were able to return to live on their land. Thank you. We were only doing what had to be done. We started this, so it's our responsibility to end it. If it weren't for my irredeemable brother, none of this would have happened. I would have liked to offer you a reward. But, as you can see, our town has been destroyed. Anything we have left, I want used to rebuild Long Spring. The cash reward is beyond my power to give you. But anything you may want from this home is yours to take. I think we will have to tear it all down and build a new Long Spring with the survivors. Uh, about that. Alexander? This helmet fits well. Can I keep it? Uh-huh. Really, the nail tips are so blindingly bright, I'd like to put one on my shield so I don't need batteries anymore. That's enough for us. We're satisfied. That's... that's all. My weapons, my father's heirlooms, you can... No thanks, you need them more than we do. Thank you. Let's go. We should leave now.
Mr. Kotz, you're finally done. Did you say goodbye to the Lord? Then it's time for us to go, too. My team will cover your return to Rhodes Island. Thank you. Miss Cohen, your squad is coming with us, right? Right. We've been fighting too long. We need a place to rest and resupply. And most importantly, we probably need some identities. Identities we can go around the world with. Around Terra. Sure. The car's ready. We're off. Man, it feels so good to hear, like, the normal, easygoing, life on Rhodes Island music. But yeah. Honestly, I think this was, this is even more of an emotional, emotional, like, uh, even more of a relief than beating Rathalos. But yes. <clears throat> Your information has been registered with Rhodes Island. You may stay and resupply at Rhodes Island field offices or safe houses across Terra. Although you are not officially employees of Rhodes Island, the mission network is open to you and you'll be paid for contracts you complete. That's about it. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Just real quick, I have to ask. Does Rhodes Island have any sci-fi literature? I'm sorry? Looking out, look, looking out over a bright new future. So, these are our new identities. At least I've got the shield I could use. Could be worse. Do we have a plan? Try to take a look at the at this world, which we now know too little about. I'd like to have a detailed write-up myself. But this time, I'm sorry. It's all up to us. So, what is our first destination? Somewhere called Siesta. Sounds like a pretty good city. Then let's get going. Until we make it back home, we're on the road. Alright. That didn't take too long. And there it goes. Or no, right. Yeah, that was in response to the, the slug. Or the excrescence. But anyway... <laughs> That cutscene didn't take quite as long as I was expecting. See, so yeah, I guess I didn't need to worry about not having the time for it. But yes, we are done. We have completed uh, this event. Every story beat of it. Again, I will probably continue to try to get a better score off camera. But we have done everything that we set out to do. And I will, if I get that better result i will share it but i don't think i'm going to stream tomorrow um yeah okay i suppose we're not in the place that i like to be when i wrap up so let's go to the place that i like to be when i wrap up and wrap up so today has been arc nights and we have finally 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 completed this particular stage of the journey Yes. So, after this, um, what what do we do after this? Okay. So, man. Okay. Let me collect my thoughts. So yes, again, probably not going to be streaming tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to be taking any particular time off next week, but we're not going to do the sort of five stream a week schedule. I don't think we did do. Honestly, I wasn't, like, too troubled by streaming every day this week, or, you know, pretty much every day this week. I wasn't as troubled by it as I thought I would be. So I think I can very easily handle three streams a week, and maybe even four streams a week going forward. But yes, I tested my limits, and I found that my limits were a lot, like, like not anywhere near where I thought they were. They weren't, uh... I thought I'd be, like, absolutely exhausted, and I am tired, but 
a lot of that just comes down to other factors. It definitely wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So yes, so we have done much. We have accomplished a great thing here, I think. And so if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can come up with a target on my own. And yeah, other than that, not much else to be said, yeah. So I don't know exactly what the schedule is going to be next week, given the fact that, again, I might be, yeah, I might be just on, yeah, more than usual next week. I'll still try to figure out what exactly, when exactly I want to be streaming. But yeah, Monday, Monday is a good day for me to stream, usually. Monday or Tuesday. Wednesday also. Then, yeah, Friday, Saturday are good. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Um, again, we'll, we'll, I'll think about this some more when I have some more time. But yeah, not seeing any raid suggestions. So, hmm. Who are we going to drop by? I'm trying to remember who we raided last time. I do not remember. I think, actually, last time it was Judo, I think. Yeah, I think we read it into Judo. Um, so yeah. Ooh. Was it Judo? I don't know. Hold on. I guess Judo's not, like, streaming right now. So I don't have to worry about raiding into the same person twice in a row. Which, you know, isn't an issue. I just tend to prefer to spread out my raids. So actually... Oh no, okay. Looking at my, my internet history, it looks like the... Looks like it was Alt last time, Altariana. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, it was Judo the day before. Right, right, right. Okay. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, like I was saying, I like to spread out my raids. Not that there's anything wrong with raiding into the same person multiple times in a row. Or, you know, in a... Like, frequently. I just want to, uh... Spread things out a little bit. But yeah. Tonight, I think, again, if nobody has any last-minute raid suggestions, I think I'm going to go and visit Sroka, Sroka V2, whom we haven't seen in a little bit. But yes, I'm um, going to wait for the ad to go away, and in the meantime, I will share some thoughts. <coughs> the event was very fun. But yeah, I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed the challenge of this last part, and yeah, even sort of um, yeah. Again, I'm glad that even with a guide, um, I wasn't like uh, even with a guide, I didn't have an easy time of it. I did like that we had to figure things out. I think I would have liked to have figured things out a little bit faster, maybe, so I would have a little bit less stress about whether or not I'd have time, but. I'm glad that we figured things out. I'm glad that things worked out a little bit. I'm glad that I was able to personalize the strategy a little bit. But yeah, the event story wasn't anything too special in too many ways. I do like sort of some of the ways that it like introduces some of the core concepts of Arc Knights in a way that like uh, I feel like it's very appropriate. I was going to say it's very appropriate for someone who, like, hasn't been, like, maybe, you know, got into this from, like, the Rainbow Six side or something because of the collab. So, yeah, so, like, how it talks about, you know, infection and it establishes, you know, when in the infected pass away, they, you know, become originium dust, basically, things like that. Um, the sort of threat that originium pose poses... But yeah, things like that. I like that it's sort of this, the way that it establishes those. You know, it's something that I already knew as a person who is fond of Arknights. But I like that it's sort of something... I like how they established it. It wasn't too overbearing or anything like that. Um, but yeah, the, the scene with Miaro was was quite touching. But yeah, the, the, the palpable sense of relief after this victory was, was quite something. Though I guess that wasn't a... Yeah, that wasn't anything to do with the, the writing, I suppose. 
Um, yeah, Tachanka is fun. Just I like Tachanka. <laughs> Everyone likes Tachanka, basically, but um, just sort of as a concept, as much as anything else. Um, yeah, not much else to be said. Yeah, I think those are all the thoughts that I that I feel the need to share now before our Lord, indeed. But yes. So, all that being said, it is time to wrap up. So let's actually get the raid started. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. But yes, thank you again for uh, all of your assistance, EVPG. I always appreciate the uh, little bits of information here and there. But yes, so, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you will be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.